Got oh. it. Good job. <laughs> Dooley's running late. As usual. Welcome back to Team Pack and Cheats Fat. I'm Jason. This is Alex. And this is Dennis. I didn't even get beer on me. Hey. Hey. How many that might you? be celebratory, you know? <coughs> Let's have a beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's still early. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> many more to crack. <laughs> So, uh, how's everybody doing today? Dennis, is, uh, how's the butcher shop? Uh, it was steady for yeah. most of the weekend, I think. Even with the festival? Yeah, even with the festival. That, it did hurt some. Because, like, it wasn't like the, the last time, but last time we had the uh, event, but same time, that was also Easter weekend, too. Yeah. So, that was kind of one of the reasons why we were so busy, but it was steady. So, yeah, the, the butcher shop. Like, we, uh... Tasted the burger. Burger was freaking fire. It was delicious. I'm glad because I didn't even know you, it was yours. Yeah. So. <laughs> the best, you know me, I get my best Philly for dinner. <laughs> but I mean, like, we You've were, been on the Triple S mat, though. Like, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I mean, but it was just like, it was a busy day. And like, yeah. so like, it was. It didn't get called. Like, yeah, it wasn't like, hey, this is Dennis. Hey, Dennis, yeah. Dennis is it picking up in 15. in the rotation. Of this is in rotation. Yeah, hey, perfect time, though. But yeah, I mean, anything good? Any, uh, any, I saw that uh, the butcher shop now has whole rabbits. Who had whole rabbits? Yeah, have you? Mm-hmm. I just yeah. saw because we were driving by. And I just like we started reading the billboard like yeah. uh, on the back of the because yeah. we're usually not that close. Yeah, because we had to drive all the way around um, yeah. this time and like so we were behind the butcher shop. Yeah, and no, I, I like, saw like, whole rabbits. Duck breasts are cool, but yeah. whole rabbits is way more interesting. <laughs> yeah. Like. yeah, whole rabbit, no head, no feet, no fur, no guts. <laughs> I'm nice. Yeah, does that count as whole? Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> it's whole carcass. <laughs> I mean, but what about the feet? And the head. How <laughs> no am I going to get lucky? If right, I don't right. have the feet. Well, where do you think the keychains are from? You know, like, <laughs> that's why we don't get no feet. <laughs> new, well, but a new item, though, is chicken feet. Chicken feet? I chicken did see feet. that. Yeah. I did see that. Yeah, that's no, a good... Uh, yeah. I'm assuming they're coming in frozen. You don't have... Yeah, they're frozen. Yeah, they're frozen. <laughs> yeah. Not a bunch of fresh chicken feet laying around. I mean, they're great, they're great for thickening sauces. Um, I, he, they he don't mainly, have a lot of meat on them, you know? He mainly I mean? brought them in for dog food. Dog food? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, like, they're great for, like, thickening stocks. Yeah. Like, because they got, like, so much collagen okay. in them, and, like, yeah. it's great. Like, that, and I've seen people, you know, deep fry them and eat them, too, so, you know. I, I mean, was, I have tried. Pickling. Yeah, pickle, pickle, pickle chicken feet. Yeah, I don't, I don't get people always ask for pickled pig's feet, so, you know. Do you guys have pickled pig's feet? No. Why no not? Pig, because no pig feet at all. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no trotters? No trotters. No trotters. No trotters are in the store. Nope. Apparently, no, no. feet are just very in demand in the well, meat again, industry. Well, again, like, again, like with pig's feet, like great for thickening soups and seasoning soups. Yeah, like, all the calls yeah. 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 <laughs> it's all that bone, man. You know? I, mean, like, I mean, that's like that's what I use them for. Yeah. You know, I mean, and like I will like, like you know, when I'm making like a, a stew or like a gumbo or something like that. I will like you know take a fork and like you know dig dig try to shred up like Some whatever meat. you can get off of it like yeah. you know but like that's basically I mean you're not getting a lot it's it's there for a reason and it's mm-hmm. like you know like smoked pig's feet you know like I don't understand like the smoked pig's ears though mainly for dogs <laughs> I mean I just see them like in the meat department like at Food Lion yeah. you know what I mean and it's like like uh, what do I do with that like <laughs> it's not the tail man it's not the tail <laughs> yeah they got the you can buy a fucking pig nose in that bitch too yeah. like six pack like <laughs> look like you're looking at the top of a couple beers <laughs> saran wrap together like I don't know like, but, but yeah so we were busy as hell at the market that day I think like, that was a record think so I think that's a record I don't know it's, it's definitely close if it isn't the record like we were getting we should probably write down the record <laughs> that might make it easier to, to determine to, to remember the new record. Like this will be this will be the new record. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's certainly a record for this year. That's undoubtable. Yeah. Uh, I mean, had, we had one that came close already, but that, yeah. I think that's a record overall. Uh, I mean, that was a tough day. Yeah. I mean, I'm just glad that it wasn't stupid hot because yeah. that makes it worse. Yeah. Like when you're that busy well, and the, it's like just it's unbearable. Like you're just. Sweat running down your ass crack. It's supposed to be raining all day on Saturday too. Yeah, they well, I mean, a lot of a lot of trucks canceled. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 well, and luckily you got the rain pushed to fucking Sunday and everything. Yeah, a lot of food trucks canceled their gigs on Saturday, and it turned out to be like a pretty decent day. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't a bright sunshiny day. Thank God, Lakotos is always there. Like, <laughs> really, oh, could like, you I'm, imagine if he wasn't there? That's what I'm saying. Like, it, he will. There's a lot of trucks that cancel for. Um, Unobvious reason sometimes it could be a breakdown. It could just be something stupid. And oh I, shit! Know, Real fast, dude. That, I was just at I was just at Food Line buying beer, and American Taco was in an accident. 
I don't know whose fault it was. The truck looked fine. He's okay. Every like it, everybody, it was yeah, just, everybody was outside. Yeah, there was just like a lady in a white Mercedes who uh, got hit like on the on the driver's side front fender bumper area, and she was sitting outside of her Mercedes looking pretty pissed. <laughs> huh? But uh, so the it, he, everybody was okay, and like so they just had the entrance to the food line blocked off because they were like literally like in front. Yeah, and it's not even them. The cops were blocking the entrance. Like, <laughs> like, like everybody's out of the way except for the cops. Like, yeah. it's like, but speaking of like people canceling for like, I mean, I'm, I hope, <laughs> I hope, I hope that uh, everything's okay and he gets back to work. You know, but like again, like I don't see why people would cancel for rain. Especially around here. I yeah, mean, because like, it could say yeah. it's going to rain. You're canceling like two days before. We've mm-hmm. done it one time, the and day it, of. It, it, well, and that wasn't even us. The lady canceled. And then no, I think were, we did it one time. Like, we made the judgment call one time. It was like three hours before. Like, we got together that morning. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And it was like, you know, it's horrible outside. And literally, we were like, all right, we've never done it. Let's make the call. And I think three hours later, it was fucking beautiful yeah. outside. <laughs> and we were like, all right, never again. And we didn't hear the end of it for a while. <laughs> we still like, haven't. Never like, again. Like, you canceled my, you, you canceled remember my... that time you canceled our neighborhood? Like, <laughs> if someone cancels us, fine. But like, nope. I mean, we'll, but even like we'll when, when, like, when I don't know. Like, I mean, we've I don't been wanna, canceled I don't in the neighborhood because of rain, and then people are like, "Why'd you cancel?" I was like, "We didn't." Like the neighborhood mm-hmm. told us not to come because it wouldn't be worth our time because the, you won't come in the rain. <laughs> like, I will say, like, I don't think rain would ever stop us, but no. like wind. High, like, high yeah, wind is like, a thing, and ice. I mean, well, like, yeah, like, snowy, icy, you know, like, not a huge fan. I mean, we've gone out. Yeah. We have, but I, like, I'm thinking of, like, what if we went to, like, uh, over the bridge in Chesapeake? Like, I'm, I'm yeah, know, I'm not, like, I'm we're, not, not yeah. we're not making that trip in some certain conditions, yeah. you know, uh, but. Going out to Deep Creek over the fucking bridge, yeah, I'm cool. I'm good. <laughs> But rain. I mean, we haven't canceled since. Yeah, I mean, it's one time. Like, like it's sketchy did. enough going over that bridge on a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that throwing some wind and some ice in there. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. Fuck. Let's fucking make it ice skate. Like. <laughs> so where were we? Uh, record. We moved on from record to something else. And oh, because we were talking about um, the, the truck. Oh, trucks canceling. Uh, yeah. But Lakotos, thank God that. Thank God he always shows up, and he sold out at yeah. like oh what three? I mean, he made it. Two or three o'clock. Yeah, yeah he, he made he, it most he, of the yeah, way. Yeah, he made it almost. And he's a small truck. Like, I don't know how much he actually has the space to carry because people, for some reason, think you could just walk outside your truck and magically show up with more shit. Right. Uh, it's in my trailer. We have a big truck, but we still run out. Like, I can only imagine. So I'm glad that he was there though, because it was him and us for real food. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Classic was slinging donuts as always. Yeah. Speaking of classic, we're super bummed this week. We found out that uh, we are not. The best food truck in Coastal Virginia magazine. We are only the second best food truck in Coastal Virginia because fucking Classic Donuts beat us out this year with their 22,000 followers. I mean, we took gold, right? I knew. Silver? Silver. Silver. I Is knew. Uh, well, you called it. like. I knew they were going to win. I mean, they have like a cult following. They do. Did they <laughs> did they do best overall this year? Gold, silver. No, or okay, did they so just... best overall, best overall it's is still Vitamin. Vitamin. It's been Vitamin for like the last like six years. Do they even have a truck? Uh, I no know. one knows, but they have a following. So <laughs> doesn't yeah, matter. Really still, yeah. They got twenty six thousand followers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like it just you know four four thousand more than the uh, donut truck. Okay. <laughs> like, like they were out like three times. Yeah, it counts. Like, like, right. They, assuming they were, I'm not. So, I so the producer seems to think that next year will be bronze. Because the truck that came in bronze this year is has sixteen thousand followers <laughs> to our six thousand followers. Yeah. So we're slowly we're slowly falling off the popularity because we're just getting beat by people who buy followers. Yeah, by votes. Well, yeah. I'm not saying. No, that's not. I'm not saying not that really. classic is buying followers. No, they well they they are with whatever secret ingredient they're putting it's in their fucking it's crack. It's crack. their donuts that's how they're buying it's seven them. cases of lemon so yeah. that's, that's <laughs> fucking I mean their donuts are delicious that I'm lemon just donut, never gonna stand in line I don't for feel it. like this is gonna ruin anything for them cause I don't know the recipe but yeah that lemon donut like we saw them prepping for, and they did <coughs> like they were fucking zesting lemon. and juicing seven cases of that's lemons so like I, it that, oh Oh. The, the gallons of lemon juice that I saw, because I was like, we had the know? whole, yeah, we had the conversation about the squeezer. Like, why don't yeah. you just get one of the juicers? And he was like, I've looked into it. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like, it's fucking expensive. We don't, we don't do this flavor all the time. If I bought that, this flavor would be permanent on the menu every like, single week. 
<laughs> okay, so let me tell you about the lemon. Okay, you it was, guys, a, it you was guys, a good donut. It it was too much for me. See, I we had a discussion. I only like, disliked one part, and it was actually the zest because I felt like it was too thick. It was almost like candy. Like. So like, maybe they just need a finer plane. Maybe like the grater because they were using a microplane. From, I could I, from a distance. They were using a. I could tell they were using a microplane, but I couldn't tell the size of the microplane. I wasn't a fan of the zest part. I was gonna say I probably could have done without the zest entirely. I think it had enough lemon in the donut without it. I don't know. You don't know how much flavor the zest was bringing. That like is you true. remove, you remove the zest. Okay, but but I think it offered mm-hmm. a little bit of like a bitter, like obviously it's bitter, but like that har. It was like chewy. I mean, yeah. I, it like it it changed the texture. You don't mm. expect like. Well, see, I didn't get it in so much until afterwards. You don't like sprinkles on your donuts. And I was like, not really, no. The little jimmies, like munching That's on something. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, what am I eating? I like, saw what it. What am I, mean, I, I picking on? Years, and then like, like, I was like, oh, I mean, zest. See, I do we really consider that zest? I'm not. I'm not shooting shots here, but like that to me was like almost Julian rhyme. Like you're, it's not as fine as a zest would be. Like if it was a zest, you'd have been through it, and it like it would disappear. Does that make sense? Like this was no, too I think thick. It, mm, it wasn't the piece that I got, end, but I think it was a thicker. It was definitely like through it, a cheese grater bigger, on, yeah, on the fine like it's side. A micro, yeah, it was it's a heavier microplane. Yeah. yeah, it was again. Like I feel like, and I don't know if I would. Have you had the lemon donut? I haven't had a classic donut still, in like do, two years. So. Do I still have a lemon donut inside. I don't think I would want to find that seven cases Probably. of lemons Absolutely just to throw not. that out there. Yeah, I like I'd use one of those bigger ones, like but I can't stand that line. Uh, I understand that you can't stand. Well, I get there. I get there. Like, there's a like. They we got a donut, any... but we did not stand in that line. It was delivered to us back of the mean. truck. <laughs> Which next time, well, yeah. we'll just go ahead and we should just go ahead and make them something like a couple items before. Like, well, they used to come know. over. And I mean, like, well, yeah, I mean, yeah well, but she was. Yeah, she slammed, usually eh? stands in line. I don't think she's here. So well, that's right. But yeah, so like, you know, bummed. Yeah, are we bummed that we took over? Yeah, can you? Can, you can't be upset because like it was classic donuts. Yeah, you know, like, and I'm totally okay. She's just like, at least it wasn't a savory truck. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay yeah. if if somebody had to beat us, it's donuts. Yeah, that's right. nothing. It's it wasn't. It wasn't a. No, it wasn't. Oranges. Yeah, it wasn't a. It was, it was lemons do, to cheese sticks, <laughs> ma'am. Lemons, lemons to cheese to sticks. Cheese sticks. <laughs> you lost because you don't do breakfast. <laughs> we did breakfast and it was cool, but it's just too damn early. Mm-hmm. Like, and I thought nobody about, would nobody would want to pay the price for our breakfast. That's the thing. So it's just not really worth it. I mean, you could totally get our breakfast sandwich, get in the classic donut line, and then by the time you got, like, well, you could eat, like, three of our sandwiches in time. You got <laughs> through the classic donut line to get Especially your Especially a cheese steak. And then, look, <laughs> no, I'm saying, I mean, like, like, breakfast. <laughs> See, I'm, like, he, on a sausage biscuit right now. He made a fucking comment Saturday. Like, they opened at 9, and, like, when we got there, they're... There was already someone standing, waiting for them to open, and he was like, "I mean, I guess if you're going to stand Dude. there for an hour, you might as well do it and be the first in line." That's like, damn right. <laughs> well, like, and, I, I was saying, like, when, sorry I get, when I get there on, to that one on person Thursdays, who had it, and now everybody's going to do it. <laughs> I'm getting there like six thirty, almost seven o'clock in the morning on, on Thursdays. They're just setting up and everything. They're in line already halfway back through the back parking lot. I'm Again, like, if you're going to well, wait, Thursdays, if you're going to wait forty five minutes, you might as well just get there yeah. early and be the first. Like, yeah. I got to wait either way. But everybody knows they're there on Thursdays, so they know what time to go sit. And wait, like it's. They might send out a secret text. You never know. It's their cult yeah. following, dude. Like I couldn't get in that line. I just, I mean, I could, but again, mm-hmm. like you could order from us, get in classics line, get your donuts, and by the time you get out of that line, it's lunchtime, man. You can order from us again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, you ready for another this sandwich? Is, right? They need they need to get like a little flapper cue of like how long. An estimated like Bush Gardens, uh, so, like, like you know, you're standing in line. It's like from here, from here, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, say something. You joke about the fucking time for another sandwich already. Yeah, that that best Philly almost didn't make it home that night. Oh yeah, yeah. I like, ate the burger and about an hour later. I went, fuck, I'm hungry again. Like, I'm not hungry. I, got, I got a Philly still. I still got a Philly. How? Why are you still hungry? Hmm. All these dinners. Is that the <laughs> which one? Did, which one did we weigh? Uh, oh, that, that was, was at the uh, the library. Yeah, like double, a, a double, yeah, double, double deluxe. deluxe. Double, I thought, I thought double that, yeah, deluxe. It's almost, it's almost like a two pound fucking ass sandwich. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've, one, I've had it before. <laughs> one pound three I'm ounces. I'm pretty sure mine's yeah. one of the pictures. <laughs> yeah, it is one of yeah. <laughs> This guy put a tomato on his, so. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, so. Uh, I hope it's for going to my So while we, were, while we were on the subject of food trucks, so we had a phone conversation about doing festivals and stuff like that. Yeah. And, um, so another truck had asked, you know, like, you know, how fast can you be 
And so it was like, you know, obviously we cooked to order. Yeah. And so the conversation came about, like, would you, would you be would willing, you be to, willing to sacrifice the quality of your food? It didn't progress that quickly, but that's where it but ended. Yeah, that's like, yeah, where it went. And like, so, no. It's, it just started with, can you make 100 burgers an hour? Which, no. No. I mean, is it humanly possible? <laughs> Probably. Someone is at the front door. Dooley. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll go grab him real fast. <laughs> so, oh. welcome, Dooley. Hello. Oh, y'all are 15 minutes in. I'm oh, yeah. so sorry for being late. About like last time? <laughs> yeah, about like last time. I didn't, like, but nothing recorded. This time I think we're doing okay. Because we see the green, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard it through your, your oh, okay. headphones, so, oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so you, you brought over the Beast Unleashed, I which just, is... I just saw it at 7-Eleven. Hard monster. 6% mean green, and we're just basically saying it's four locos. Alex says it's only three locos. Because the Cause M is a three, right? Yeah, oh. take one and pass it. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to taste just like a fucking monster. What's the difference between chicken cordon bleu and chicken salt and buca? The words. <laughs> chicken cordon bleu <laughs> is yeah, stuff. Literally pretty much the same picture. Ooh, that's a good pop. Man, it, that's fresh. <laughs> so looking at this picture, I could absolutely not tell which one is which. From this place, it, that, looks, like, like, that, that is cups. the exact same yeah. photo. <laughs> like, for both. What? Like what's? The, well, that's crazy. Okay. Anyway. So it's in court on blue stuffed. We're rolled in the center. Yeah. Well, I know what. Yeah. Oh, it's a different. It's fit. ham and Swiss. But okay, I guess I haven't seen like a, like a regular sauce, monster in a long time. Is it always that what color? What is chicken yeah. salt and buka then? I, I feel like, like it's a different like kind monster. of meat. Maybe. maybe Definitely sure. smells like a monster. It smells like the white monster. Why is it going to be white? It smells like one eye monster. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's called Ultra. It's the white can. <laughs> yep, that tastes like monster. Yep. What's the percentage on that? Six percent. Six. That's dangerous. You okay? <laughs> yeah. You didn't close the fridge, Dooley. Bad yes, Dooley. Yeah, I, bet I don't know. I bet it's prosciutto. <clears throat> like, I wonder... Yeah, that's uh, a good call. Let's see. I wonder how many of these you can pound before you figure out. Like, you can, somebody just hand you this shit. Ew, there's mushrooms in there. Oh, good job. Whatever you can do. It did. Yeah. just got rid of the hum. <laughs> <laughs> We're still recording? Cool. Yeah. Everything's yeah. good? Yeah. Okay. Rock on. Prosciutto just like, and Fontina. Ah, uh, the Fontina. Yeah, I'd be oh. like, if you were just gaming and somebody was just, like, handing you these, pound, like, three of them, I'd be like, why am I, why am I shooting so bad? <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. You're doing great. So like the popcorn I got yesterday. <laughs> the what? There was a vendor at the farmer's market yesterday. Yeah. On Sunday? Mm-hmm. So a little Selling some baked goods. Popcorn movie mix. Oh, that, yeah? Yeah. He claimed, first he claimed it was vegan. Okay. But it had Chex Mix and stuff in it. So we're like, nope, not vegan. Was, Chex Mix isn't a vegan? Nah, because it's still got milk and stuff in there. In Chex Mix? Mm-hmm. Let's put it this way. Okay. I mean, I Bo- Boss man Googled it because, like, because, you know, we Is got... it because of, like, whey? I think so, yeah. Because yeah. I was like, where's the fucking milk and Chex Mix? Usually but, you add that when you're eating the cereal. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> but, yeah, no, like, it's like, he looked up because of, uh, what's his name? What's her name? Uh, the, the, you know who? The French Friday. French Friday girl, yeah. Yeah. So. She's vegan. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And everything, so, oh, like, man. This... Maybe that's what we could sell our chicken morning stars, too. I think we tried. She's, she's hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Well, I, got, I got morning stars. Right. I'll even fry it in the French fry. Place. Everybody is sitting. No. They want to know if we have a vegan option until I tell them it's morning star or chicken patties, and they're like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you want? For, I mean, we could always just put like the garden on a bun. Right. Maybe next time I'll, I'll say that. We put the garden on the bun, and we got... You know well, what? I'm going to throw in chives got, and jalapenos we, if you want them to. And we can hit it with the... Well, I mean, if they eat mayonnaise. Fat sauce. I guess the you know, fat sauce has... Buttermilk in it. Yeah. It just depends on how vegan, how vegetarian are you? Right. What at what level? <laughs> like, like scallopini, scallopini, chicken scallopini. Right. Okay, chicken scallopini. Yeah. Where's the tetrazzini? Chicken tetrazzini. <laughs> Turkey on a king. But yeah, no. Uh, he said he used oil. Well, he didn't use butter. He used oil and everything. Infused. Infused oil because I fe- I felt it about an hour and a half later. All of a sudden, I'm like, why am I? Like, I got really? caught in my like some, but like I hadn't done an edible yet today. I'm like, it's I'm still at work, 
Yeah. Like he just sli- he's just sliding that around and everybody. Dude, and at the same time, like on the, like his drop biscuits and everything, he's got a uh, jalapeno bacon cheddar drop biscuits. And then it said on the back it says not made in an inspected kitchen. I'm like, oh, nice. <laughs> like, how are you selling this shit at the farmers market? Apparently, the traditional Chex Mix is vegan as long as it doesn't have pretzels or cheese. Yeah. The fuck? What happens with pretzels? Uh. I don't know. They might have milk. I, eggs, maybe? Eggs, maybe. Mm-hmm. Or milk. Making a ba- I don't know, man. Making a, dough, like... making a dough. Making a dough. Or butter. Perhaps. I don't know. Oh, I guess the pretzels are okay. It's just as long as the original... You have to get the original because it has no cheese sticks. There's no dairy, egg, meat, ingredients listed on the package. Okay, so the blue Chex Mix. And we're talking about, like, not Chex cereal. I also, saw, I also saw something that said you could get the popped as well. Yeah. The I don't think I've seen the popped. Checks mix pop. I don't. I. I'm guessing <clears throat> it's popcorn. So vegan. This this vegan broadcast brought to you by Checks right. Mix. <laughs> but yeah, you get can only, bag, only get the traditional get if you're vegan. Huh? Leave. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Like you can't even have like the bold flavors or anything because it says there's like chicken seasoning. Okay, so what we were, like right before Dooley got here, what we were talking about was a food truck reached out to us about going to festivals and wondering if we could do a hundred burgers in an hour. Those are child numbers. That's, 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 okay. <laughs> well, that's a lot of damn burgers, man. Like, but so, a hundred burgers usually take three hours. <laughs> but so, I mean, that's more than one of our grinds. Yeah. yeah. Like, so, like the, it, the the subject came up was like, would you be willing to sacrifice your quality, basically pre cooked burgers and hold them hot and then just throw them back on the flat top and cheese them? Yeah. And I was like, no. I was like, the one thing, like, it's like. The one thing that we stood on, like, as a food truck is that, like, we don't have to be the fastest truck in the world. We got to be the best. Yeah. And, and then... People will wait. Th- yes. Mm-hmm. Like, no one wants to wait in your line. Like, well... Oh, shit, they don't. So <laughs> that shit's a classic donut. Yep. Like, it's like... <laughs> But are you asking Classic to do the same thing too? Yeah. Like, this shit's been I want, up a I want, lot I want yesterday's the donuts. Trucks, <laughs> like, it's pissing me off. Well, like, elaborate, because this is where we were driving to in this story... It's like now all of a sudden, everything that pops up is like must be fast. It must be fast. Like how fast are you? Like fast enough to work at, at a hospital? Like, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, and I guarantee you, we're probably one of the busier trucks at most of the hospitals. Mm-hmm. So if they're not fucking having a problem with us waiting or them waiting, like it's not like they're out there waiting thirty damn minutes either. Unless just, like we've lost a ticket or something. Like, yeah, like, oops, oops. <laughs> it happens every now and then. Building on the flat top, I don't know what happened to it. I just, I just don't understand, like, now all of a sudden, like, it went from, because like, Because there's this... so many new food trucks. There's so many new food trucks, and these other certain people want to... I feel like it's a, it's a, like a domination thing. Like, you have to be quick, and if you're not, then don't sign up. And when we were brand new, we were scared to sign up for things because we knew we weren't the fastest truck. But you don't have to be the fastest truck. People will wait for good food. Yeah. Don't put if you if you're Scoop fine reserves. with putting out shit, then that's that's good for you. But that we aren't. He was like, and I'm not talking about that one truck. That's no. not who I'm because they're that's not they're not that right. No, but I was like talking going back to that, and like he was like, well, what if like you know you didn't bring like your normal food and you brought like. Basically, would you bring a frozen patty? Yeah, and then just say it, this isn't our food. Yeah, this is yeah, this is just the uh, food that we're serving for this festival. And I was like, no, man, because if someone yeah. comes to this festival and it's the first time coming to us, they don't. Yeah. They're not going to come back when they see us like out on the streets. Yeah. Like, like I don't want to sell them crap here. No, they had to these make shitty a dry burgers. That is one place. Oh, they're there. Nah, no one. Like I don't want to. Comp- I, I don't want to compromise the integrity of our name. Yeah, I think wouldn't. it's just an area of control for. Yes, that's posts. exactly. Like it, that way, they could be like, "Oh, you're not fast. We're, you know, you're not going to come out." Like, or you get, or they're scared to sign up for something like, because you might question yourself. Well, like, yeah, like I, I was talking about the people who are saying are it. saying that you need to be fast. Like we never. I'm not going to say we intended to be slow, but we never intended to be scoop and serve. We never, no, we never, to we be never that intended fast. to that be. Is, that's yeah. not our goal, and I find that most of the trucks have that goal. 
I feel like and so I feel like a lot of trucks have business, diverted to make it to making it even more. I just so. feel like if it's if you don't do business our way, then we don't want to do business with you. But they don't come out and say it. They just say, "Oh, well, now there's a qualifier of you have to be fast." Like, I mean, granted, some people may ask that, but. Again, but what is fast to them? Again, because like I, yeah, I, who's making have, the determination yeah, as well? Is it is it the out. person making the post or the person who's setting up the event? Yeah, what's not fast? Like, are you saying ten minutes for a uh, freshly cooked cheesesteak and French fries and macaroni and cheese is I'm too also, long to wait? I'm also you would curious. go to a restaurant and and expect a nice meal. And just walk into the restaurant and have it for you, like they, it's ready. Are they expecting McDonald's? Or are they? Expecting I mean, nuts? I've sat yeah. in line at McDonald's longer than some <clears throat> people have waited in our line. Agreed. Uh, like, yeah. I'm also curious though, like going with the control and like speed. <laughs> the mm, some of the people who organize <laughs> these things, you, I often wonder. We do like a, a trial run. Like, sometimes if there's no minimum at a place, yeah. or, like, we'll give it a shot. Is it worth it? We'll see. Now, do yeah, you think... what's the worst that can happen? Do you We're going to miss out on a... Do you, you know? think that the, the people that are, are, are setting up... It's the rotations. But the people that are setting up the rotations, do you think that they ever go, Hey, we're going to have a truck come out. If you don't like them, let us know. We'll take them off the rotation. I think they try and make that determination before it even... It's like a lawyer. You know, I presented you with an offer. You have to show it to your client. Like, I feel like in a rotation, like, if you're not sure about a truck, then give the truck a chance. Let the people decide, hey, they're a little slower, but we really like their food. Hey, they were super quick, but it was shit. You know, like, let let the, the event organizer decide. Like, yeah. I get the event organizer doesn't want to have to do all the organizing, but I feel like it becomes down to, a, again, like, you have to do business like us or you're not doing business. Right. And that, it's a step of control. Like... Uh, yeah, in areas that they really shouldn't have control, control. over, like someone else's business. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, like, I, just I, to play devil's advocate, I how many gigs do you think that we may like may not have been booked on because, because we're they, slow? Oh, because they think we're slow. Uh, is it even that? And I again, mean, like okay, and again, what is slow? Because I think like if you're at like one of those locations where everyone goes on lunch at the same time when they're supposed to stagger, but it never ever, never fucking ever. happens to us. <laughs> because like oh yeah, they come out like five six at a time, and then like we open the window and it's like oh shit, they're open, and now there's a line of forty people in front of you. And, like nobody's fast. You're there yeah. for you're there for two <laughs> hours, and no one comes out in the second hour. Yeah. Yeah. Like everyone's there within the first, and you're I mean, like all right. Well, I really thought we were gonna spread that out a lot more. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but no, I mean, it's like, like, would you? <clears throat> yeah, if you went out there and the, got in the line of forty people, you should know no, it's going to be yeah. a minute. Yeah, like especially like if you've ever I remember that. been to our truck before. To play devil's advocate with the bookings, there are a lot more trucks, and I'm not saying that they're getting excluded or involved, but like people are probably getting booked less if there are more trucks. I mean, that's understandable. Like, to, you have I, more to put in a rotation, so but, now it's like people are getting booked less. And I I, I don't know if that's the case, because I don't look at all their bookings. Well, she does. I know. Uh, that's <laughs> why I said I don't know if that's the case. Oh, we've definitely been getting booked less, yes. I'm just... You know, I don't I mean, think like, that has anything... I think that you're exactly right. That Those certain rotations that I do take a lot, uh, I do think that that's just because there's so many trucks, and she's fair. She's very fair with... The bookings and I don't think that has anything to do with speed or not but the festival thing like that was multiple hours too we're not talking about hey you're gonna show yeah, up for dude. two hours at first and you had me like think like nervous and shit I mean you're but... talking about like 600 burgers yeah, what, was like, the, what was the initial quote like 17,000 people or yeah, something like that yeah you wanna, go to, this, you wanna go to this festival and it's like 22,000 people like no 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 I don't so actually I, don't. I do not you know what do I do wanna go to that festival I'm gonna Go get some cotton candy, walk around, <laughs> maybe right. look at some shit. Uh, I might even, I might even come foods. up and order some food. <laughs> but it was like, but like, no, I, I've always told people. Everybody asks us leads? all the time if we're doing festivals. Do you do festivals? Do you do festivals? And I always tell them, no, I have no desire to do that. Honestly, I have no desire. 
Where where are we going? Are we going to buy another truck to bring more food no, to yeah, the I ocean mean, front? Exactly. Like, where we would the need, fuck are we putting? Let me it? step Ooh. off the truck and pull fries out. Ooh. Like, Ooh. I, so, but so, I did say like uh, we would have to only sell one thing. That's when you just hire the Cisco truck. Like, look, yeah. I need you to put a trailer at the ocean front. Just <laughs> drop it there for the weekend. I'll you could get it back on Monday. I just like okay. So in this festival of twenty two thousand people, and he's like, you know, can you? It's a two day event. You need to be able to do. A hundred burgers an hour for several hours. And again, like, where are you going to put it? Yeah. Where are you going to put the product? Yeah. Like, like what you're saying. Like, we would need, like, a, we'd need our neighbor's refrigerated truck to follow us around. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, now that's an option. <laughs> <laughs> if but that's all the thing, we I, did if, was burgers. Yeah, we would have to completely fill the fridge top to bottom with just burgers and I guarantee you we'd still run out like mm-hmm. like every fridge fuck running out we'd quit like you know. <laughs> what do you Yo, got I got bread well at that point <laughs> I got that burgers point, I got cheese I feel and like I got it would just sauce. be a that's it that is it a, a no assembly. fucking french fries no fucking <laughs> Still, I feel like five hours in, at some point, it would just be like, you good? I'm good. I'm done. All right, cool. Yeah, we're, we're sold out. Like, yeah. we're winging it. <laughs> Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. I already took your order. That is walk up like, how many you want? Yeah. <laughs> I got 17 left. That's it. Like, how many you want? Uh, we also, we, we got another couple emails come through about more festivals, and I'm just like, oh. Still, it's. I mean, it's that time of year. Yeah, you know, it's it's fest fest season. Festival. Oh, well, I guess it, the it's festivus. Festival can really have a variety of yeah. ranges. Yeah, I agree with little, little, little side note. Why don't you pick this up? The Seven Eleven or over there next to the Teep. <clears throat> Were they having a festival? No, oh, but the the you lady, the older white lady, um, she saw Team Fat Kid on my shirt. She's like, Team Fat Kid, how's Jason and them? I'm like, pretty good. Where? <laughs> The no, 7-Eleven no, no. over there. Oh, the 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven by the yeah. courthouse. <clears throat> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> do you, how well do you know your 7-Eleven? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Like, oh, you talking about Lori? Yes. Yeah, cool. <laughs> like the one I fucking... She's like, they getting busy? I'm like, I, I, I don't know. But I'm I gotta go find out right now. <laughs> I, got, I actually told her, I was like, I'm about to go see him right now. She's like, well, y'all have fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, um, the Beast... Does not have caffeine in it. Really? It says monster with alcohol. So it has taurine, not caffeine. Which yeah, I think that's I what fucks really me up. I don't know what the difference is. But I think taurine I was say, is... If you want to read the description over there. I think that inflates my old lady gout. I say old lady, old gout. lady gout. I say that, but I've had this shit for like seven years. Like, Would have gotten away with it too. It's been longer than seven gout years, I think. Knock on wood. Yeah, now she's got the old lady hip. Oh, Sciatica. Yeah. I'm just falling apart. You should trade me in. Well, you know, You're two twenty year olds. It's the devil, you know. <laughs> oh, no, no, another taste. All right, so this oh, is one this of those is, is yours, I guess. Oh, huh? never mind. Okay, you kept it. Yeah. Yeah. I figured we were sharing. Oh, I didn't know he was passing it that way. I thought yeah. we were passing it around. I know. I have cups if you'd like one. No. This is... I didn't pick This is that one. The one, okay. This is the one? The, the one, one that, that he told me about, and oh. I was like, oh, we should try that on the podcast. Oh. So, like, we're just... No, we're just I gonna, say we, like, I had any intention of doing it. I don't. <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna give it a sip before we discuss, and, like, let's get uh, some baselines on everyone's oh. opinion. I mean, I don't know. Not much, not, not much of a roulette. Let's just, uh... Not much of an odor going on. No, it's not. It's different. Not much of a the odor, but the taste, oh yeah. I mean, kind that's... Of, kind of flat. That's... All right. At first, I didn't get much. On yeah. the back end, I've got some interesting notes. Let me taste. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's smooth in the front. It's got a little... It's got a little... Uh, Spicer to you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so... And the sad part is we're not going to be able to find it. I think this might be a one-off right now. It might or, be. Or first run. Uh, it's a first run. All right. So, on the back end, it, it's got some heat. Mm-hmm. A little spice. Now, I'm curious because my first and second sip honestly tasted differently. Uh, my, I thought he said jalapenos, but... I was going to say... No, 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 no. It was something hotter, like my, habanero. I was going to say, my, my first... T- like, the back end on the first tasted like Flaming Hot Cheetos to me. I don't know why. I didn't... 
No, I didn't get that. Okay, the second one definitely tastes like jalapeno. It could be Serrano. It's mango habanero. <laughs> <laughs> mango habanero. There ain't no damn mango in it. <laughs> so it is spicy, but what, blazing, blazing with allergy. Blazing seed. Any? I don't think. Yeah. And blazing what? Seed. Saddles. Yeah, let's not look that up. Uh, That's a great movie. You're going to have to probably put in Garage Brewing because yeah. I have a feeling you're going to get some different results than what we're I looking for. Something else. You could have typed in beer. <laughs> uh, Blazing Seed definitely seems Brewery. different. It's not in Virginia Beach. I know, right? Oh, look, it is on Untapped. That's nice. Pretty sure all their stuff is. Blind your man. Okay, so inspired by the hot seed. From our friends at the Wild Bird Unlimited, this blonde tweed, an old favorite recipe to add toasted sunflower seeds and a smidge of honey malt to the grain bill, giving the brew a touch of golden sweetness and toast to a biscuity base. A sprinkle of capsaicin at conditioning provides an undertone of hot spice that bites at the front and lingers at the end. Very spicy, much ow. Mm, no. What? Oh. oh. See, I, like this is good. Not bad. I don't know if I'm down to drink like a 16 <laughs> ounce of this. Like, you know, are you going to do a pint? You mean, like, if it's you mean hot, like that like, guy right there? Yeah, the guy. It, you I'll, couldn't drink a full pour of this, but it's tasty. You'll like, feel it in your throat for sure. We got it in a can. It's <laughs> been in, it's been in the fridge show. for a week. I don't know. Like, was it a week? No, oh, Wednesday. Okay. Uh, either way, like, do you think it's hotter? Fresh? Like, does the capsaicin dissipate with aluminum? I don't think or, so. I don't know. I don't like, think so. I just think like again, it's a good a good sampling beer. Yeah. I would mean I wouldn't want like again like a sixteen ounce pour. Five point seven. Twenty two IBU. I want a kegger. Yeah. No, not really. Do a do a keg stand of some blazing seed. Yeah. Gonna burn I mean, that throat. So it is capsaicin. So I yeah. mean they just went for it. Like, right. It, it, like, I mean, you think it was pure cap, or do you think like, I don't they, think it's pure cap? Like, what you put? Do yeah. you think they went in like the like with the peppers? Man, they, like, I, a, you I, think I honestly did a pepper feel like mush I feel like they could have gone pure cap. Like we're talking, like all right, I get it. We're talking about like the well, four ounce mm-hmm. bottle, you yeah. know, like. But you have to think like they have like a thousand gallon vat. I, that's probably not accurate for this brewery. I don't know how big their vats are, but I mean like their their stations are probably what? Like 300 gallons? Excuse me. I even tried to get away from the microphone, man. That is like Jason's over here growling and shit. <laughs> like how much how much do you like even if you don't use like use half the bottle in that entire batch. Like <clears throat> we make something that turns into like 4 gallons. We're talking about like a 100 times. You could probably put the entire bottle in. And it might not do anything. So, I mean, like, yeah, it might be pure capsaicin. But, again, like, at that quantity, like, it's a one in a millionth drop. What? No. What? Oh, look at number three. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, you want to get into it? I mean, you might as well. Yeah. Spaghetti Get squash. some toothpicks and start poking holes. Oh, I don't think a toothpick will help. I did <laughs> it with a paring knife. So... This is your topic here, so you... Uh, okay, yeah. So Squish and spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. Oh, what? Back of the throat heat on spaghetti squash? That's what I was wondering. I'm like, spaghetti squash heat? Oh, I don't know. Back, back of the throat heat? No lip or tongue heat? Like, uh, Jason's throwing What the together. fuck, dude? Yeah, right? What kind of spaghetti drunk? squash were you making? I don't know what the note's about, but anyway, spaghetti <laughs> squash is actually pretty good, so... Is it's, it keto? It's that's, like, well, uh, so, get... like, what, a few, maybe a couple months back, we had this whole conversation that's about squash. That's the rap poison, by the way. Yeah. And... I he thought it's no lip heat. It's just in the back of the throat. He thought he knew what spaghetti squash was. Then he said he didn't. And then he said he knew what it was and he had had it before. But then no, this whole like concept it. seems so strange. Are you talking, are, to... are you talking like zoodles? No, okay. oh, that's what that's he thought. What I was think, that's what he was thinking. Yeah, no. Remember, because I had tried to tell you back then that it wasn't the same thing. No, well, and we're everybody was and like, stupid. Mm, you bake spaghetti it. squash. You bake so it I wanted to try it. With a fork. Yeah. So, okay. I wanted to try it. In my defense, my first experience with spaghetti squash was on a side next to a burger from Ruby Tuesdays. And Ew. so, it was definitely Zoodles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's probably yellow squash made into Zoodles. Well, because it was yeah. hard and fucking crunchy. And they served it cold. 
Yeah, that's weird. It's probably well, none with of those. With no sauce. It was probably that's not why. intended to be any of those things. That's why Ruby Tuesdays <laughs> isn't around no it's more. It's supposed to be hot, sauce, and not crunchy. Probably. Um, I mean, you know, hindsight, that probably would have been a much better dish. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I got out the slow cooker, poked a few holes in it with a paring knife, popped it in there for what, like three hours? 20 or so? hours. Yeah, I would say about three hours on high and pulled it out, cut it open, and scraped out the seeds. You left out, like, water. Oh, yeah, you got the water in there, which next time we'll put chicken stock. But anyway, so you scrape out the seeds. It's not vegan. And. No one said it had to be vegan. And then we added. Because she put pizza. fucking pepperoni on the chicken. Yeah, so then we made it pizza. <laughs> Pizza spaghetti squash. So I'd use pepperoni, some jarred tomato sauce, and Just some ricotta cheese. Just because she was like, I am not making a sauce if this sucks. Yeah. She's I like, by the way, how it was, I had to use. Like, not the option was there. We decided, no, I had it. It was, this was, it was required to be pizza. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, anyway, I hooked it up. And that shit was pretty good. I actually really enjoyed it. You. It wasn't you terrible. It, yeah. You, it was edible. Yeah. I mean, I, it's not. Not the uh, air fried uh, cauliflower. I mean, yeah, no. I mean, it wasn't like <laughs> as some people on the south say, it made a turd. <laughs> look, look, it was. It wasn't bad. And like, would I eat it again? Yeah. Is it something that I'm going to go out of my way to get? No. I mean, it's just like no, I would rather I have spaghetti. <laughs> but if that's what I'm that. making, that's what he's eating. <laughs> <laughs> or we could just boil some noodles. <clears throat> I can eat, and you can wait three hours. Yeah. <laughs> I can eat in like 12 minutes. That's fine. But... Jason comes out of the living room. Hey, what do we have for dinner? Spaghetti squash? I'm getting on Pizza Hut. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they'll deliver before this shit's even ready. No, thank Most you. Most I got. Don't worry with, about it. <laughs> I think I am done officially with chain... Chain pizza? Pizza. Right, it, I, was, I mean, it I would saw, be... I saw the Domino's boxes. It so. would be a lot easier to make pizza squash if you just put the pizza on the squash. Okay, fine. Jason calls up <laughs> Salino's down the street. So, okay, to... We were, the, the Domino's. Yeah, I saw effect. That. Yeah. Um, we were, I was starving. It, we're inside a food truck. Uh, but, but, Must but, be Saturday. No, like, like it, it was Wednesday. Oh. Um, That's the closest thing. Like, crispy I, Crunchy was right down I the street. There. Yeah, yeah she, but Crispy Crunchy, I'd have to. Oh God, that we, hurt. We I'd were, have to go and wait. Yeah, we were there. You know, we were nearby. Yeah. You know, and like it was boring. Like because we opened up entirely too early. You know, <laughs> for this location. Mm. So we we Get sat there. around. Well, we had to cook a hundred burgers. So yeah, so. <laughs> We we sat around and then like she was starving and you know, look, I love Team Packet. No, I get it. It's but that, after like, a while, man, like you got to eat something different. Like that one week where you all were at the farmers market, every almost pretty much every single day. I'm like, even I'm like, yeah, I love the food truck, but you know, I'm good tonight. Yeah. I'm like, Can I just get some <laughs> eggs? <laughs> I want some pasta, but not that pasta. Okay, so like, so what chicken wings? <laughs> it was just like you know spur of the moment like what's nearby <laughs> it was like hooters which chicken wings yeah, yeah chicken wings yeah crispy crunchy or dominoes and funny as shit all three of these locations have fucking chicken wings um <laughs> <laughs> god's trying to tell you something so we got pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong direction. Chicken so, wings. <laughs> and then the, the debate went up. It was like, well, what kind do you want? And I was like, let's get the pan pizza because that's what the new commercial is. Yeah. Like, the secret's out. You know, try... They're trying to say they're the, better than Pizza Hut's pan pizza. Yeah, I know. Okay. It's not bad, but... I can't remember the last time I had pizza. Oh, uh, Wednesday. <laughs> no, Pizza Hut. Oh, oh, I thought he I said think, pizza too. Yeah, <laughs> no, pizza hut. Yeah, no, he said pizza okay. hut. Because we were all there together. <laughs> <laughs> I only tried one of the two, though. I forgot to try the other one, so I you didn't try the deep dish. Not you didn't same. try the deep dish? No, I, I didn't thought you said you did. No, I went. I, I went for the New York style. Oh, and so then the New York we got style, busy. First off, yeah. well, let's be very, very clear about it's New not, York style from Domino's. It's not no. New York style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Pump hey. the brakes. Like, and then the pan pizza. All right, you cooked it in a pan, and it did have the cheesy edge, like, almost like Detroit. Yeah. Like, but that's not really a pan pizza no. either. No, that's a but square pizza. the pan pizza, though more bread, which it is, because it's a pan pizza, and it's yeah. basically almost deep fried in that pan. It made cast iron, yeah. I thought it was superior to the saucy, 
minimal. Well, she yeah, the fucking pain, like did Domino's shrinkflation us on cheese? Not on oil. Not on oil. <laughs> yeah, definitely not on well, oil. They, okay, so <laughs> let's, let's talk about the cheese quality. <laughs> All right, so when you're ordering Domino's now, after you order your pizza. You, they give you an option, and it says, "Do you love cheese? Yes, cheese it up, or no? Thank you. Like then, I'm good. Who hits no? I do. Oh, because it's because it's extra. It's extra. Yeah, Jason, I'm not yeah. gonna fucking you pay you no? just so you put on a normal amount of cheese. Jason, you who, who hits no? Lactose intolerant people. Besides <laughs> Austin. Austin, besides <laughs> Austin, right? Austin's like, I took my lactate. Let's do the damn thing. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We know a couple people like that. Uh, <laughs> so, but my 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 piece of the uh, New York style pizza, which was like a, like a triangle, yeah. um, not well. I mean, I guess most pizza is a triangle. Usually, um, but these are like the mediums. Were those mediums? What yeah. New Yorker? Yeah, it was, so it was just a medium, the size of the pieces, which is about the size of Both like. Double. A personal pizza, uh, like you know, pizza. mod pizza yeah. or like bricks. So they're about yeah. that size. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it was like mostly sauce and some cheese. Like I'm not a fan of being able to see the sauce under the cheese. Under the cheese, like yeah. before, like and you're supposed to fold this. And it even says in the description, "foldable New York style pizza." It is not. It is not. No. <laughs> um, very saucy. The pan pizza also less cheese, more bread. But I think the crust itself was just a better product, as we were talking about Domino's. And as I was eating it, and Alex asked me how it was, and I was like, "It, it's a, it's a crappy version of Pizza Hut." Like, right? Yeah. It's like, pizza has definitely had the table on fucking pan pizza. Yeah, I mean, like, it's it's what they built their foundation on. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, man! It's like going to Waffle House and not getting waffles, even though I've never had a Waffle House waffle. <laughs> Me, so duly. Actually, me neither. Since you were late, how was your week? <laughs> oh, that's okay. No one cares. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say, I got acronyms for you. Yeah, I was about to say, what three letters are we coming up with? <laughs> AGT. It's, it's four letters now. <laughs> oh, ooh. We my added, my uh, AM's going on her on her uh, VA, and uh, I'll be having my one-on-one with her in about two weeks. So I got my... Uh, AL three P's and my OPTTs and my K nets. <laughs> the sad thing is, I honestly believe this. Like this, this isn't like no, I don't no. think he's bullshitting with some letters. I like this <laughs> no, is probably the, real. Like yeah, AL three P is your PA. You don't have to explain all of them. I'm not <laughs> taking no, I'm for it. Hold on, real fast. Things. Real fast. The little pens on your hat. Yeah. Are those Amazon pens? Yeah. Is that really an Orf two Gimba? Uh huh. What the fuck is that? Or F2. Well, I know that. Well, we just, we've just we established Orf 2. I'm more interested in why they gave him hat pins instead of Crocs, like Croc accessories. Because those are not safety shoes. Well, uh, technically, they're non slip and they make a fucking steel toe Croc now. Yeah, Come on, do. man. You can put them in what? sports mode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You didn't know that? Motherfucker, I'm going to have to see if that shit is up to the Amazon safety standard board for the steel toes. But I will definitely buy those if anything. Uh, Gimba is a... Um, a walk? Yeah, that's it's a they they use Japanese words for a lot of things in there like the five S's. It's just yeah, he needs to get the first one. Oh, with the spurs. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. Croc got boots cro- got the crux with the spurs. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, if, if those are steel toes, I have you, no you idea. Walk just, I have no <laughs> idea. He's like, I got the crux with the spurs. <clears throat> the whole Amazon's looking at her. <laughs> just walking around someone with those, just like. Why aren't you in your trip building? I'm gonna, I'm gonna begin. I'm gonna gimba all the way through this place. <laughs> all right, so explain gimba to me. So gimba is uh, the gimba walk. It's what the OMs, the senior ops, and the general manager do. Um, this is safety, HR, uh, base building, the general manager, everything like that. They walk around to each department to actually. Uh, <laughs> Fuck Get yeah, steel I toes, kick, bro. I, I kick someone. <laughs> Let me see. Tell them fucking it has, work. It has nothing to do with Crocs. It just uh, that's what I came across on. <laughs> it's like knight armor, steel toes, just the toes, yeah, like the just, shoe yeah. area, though. Like, Not that? even the leg wrap or nothing. We'll, like we'll put that like right on his Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, just, yeah, they fit over. Yeah, right. Exactly. It's like clown shoes. Just put them on over. But top. you still need the spurs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. So, is this an acronym, or is this, like, a Japanese word? Gimba? I believe it's a Japanese word. Um, 
I forget exactly how what to do the gimbal walk. Oh, is this a book? Oh, you can get it on Amazon. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Walking through your business and shop floor, taking time to see how your company operates, how processes are done, and taking in detail with the people and team members of who you are doing your work with. Uh, yeah, see, I love how Gimba means all that. Like yeah. that That's definitely like... Think of it as management by walking around. That's you know, one a lot of, of managers that, just walk around. That's like a shed with a man <laughs> falling off the top. Yes. Yeah. So we oh. did a Gimba uh, last week. And usually it's one associate that's trying to move up a little bit. So becoming your PG or something like that. So they same with you. Me, they, I'm one of the more knowledgeable people in fluid load. So I'm usually doing the Gimbas. I know more about the machines, more about the shoots not operating. More about how the fluid Shit load operates. Yeah, and fluid load. So I, I'm usually doing the gimbas. <clears throat> so the associate usually talks more, like they do the description or something like that. I back them up, give them more detail, and then my manager she gives even more detail if she or he knows to the site leaders and everything like that. And uh, we just did one where like pretty much like hey like restuffits are fucking up. This is fucked up. That's fucked up. This is fucked up. We need more knowledge on this. We need more of this. We need more of this. Like, Brennan's just like, what more we need on doors? What uh, needs to be fixed on a lot more things? It's basically to help us work more efficiently. Because restuff it's go down left and right. Damn, and, re- damn restuff it's continue. <laughs> so, um, that's pretty much what a Gimba is. They walk around. They see from each department from inbound. I think it's from inbound. All the way down to the front of the building, which is uh, floor. Outbound? Wait, you think? You just said you've been doing the gimbal walk, so you're not even sure what area your only gimbal walk covers? In, only in fluid load. I don't know where they go. <laughs> I'm not walking with them. I'm in my department. I'm going to need you. I'm <laughs> gonna need just you. Say he was doing I'll just gimbal. walk with them the entire way through. I'm going to need you to gimp walk. I thought do I was missing gimp something. Gimp walk, not gimbal. Yes. Gimp. I just start doing the crip walk. Right? <laughs> While you're doing the gimp. <laughs> Same time, you're just... <laughs> Uh, sir, what are you doing? I'm fucking Snoop Dogg. Fuck off. <laughs> you don't know my do name. I'm going to need you to put that we're out, gonna, Dude, we're going to have to make like a whole rap about this. We could do like a whole dance song because everybody needs a song that about gimbal walking uh, that, <laughs> that, that, that tells you how to do it in the song. So when you got your earbuds in and you're gimbal walking, it tells you like you're step by step. All right, now. Look left. All right, now. Look right. Coming from people that have absolutely no idea what the fuck a gimbal walk actually is. I feel like we would have to get a dictionary from Dooley that includes no words, just turns. Look down. Check the ground. Turn around. Look left. <laughs> right. Like, what's the Amazon dictionary? It's got no actual words. It's just the CLR, the QRT, the BRB, the... Like, there's what? A, there's define be, those three-letter terms. There's got to be an acronym sheet somewhere that has, like, the full breakdown of all the Amazon acronyms. And, I mean, I'm a big fan of acronyms. Uh, Sounds like a big spreadsheet. Wait, how the fuck do you Acrylic. A-C-R-O. There you go. From A to Z, really? (laughs) Get it? I don't know if we have that much time. This sounds like it might be rather extensive. That yeah, it's it already ding, ding, looks ding, like it's ding, 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 That's ding, just ding, a. Ding, 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 Yeah, you guys should definitely take a moment and just Wikipedia that shit real fast. Like, just the Amazon acronyms. I mean, to be fair, it seems like the A's have a lot of Amazon. <laughs> like, the first word starts central. with Amazon, 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 Amazon. So, it, yeah. How come Seven Day Deal doesn't have an acronym? It should be the Seven DDs. Oh, not the STDs? <laughs> See, like, handling time. That, that is, uh, Doesn't even have an acronym. It's yeah, just handling it's time. Just, like, it's just telling you what, what things are. Oh, well, it's exactly the one that I saw before. Mm. I just want to know, you were talking about PGs. Do they get to graduate to PG-13s, or do they go straight to R's? <laughs> <laughs> no, more like nc In the process of Turning becoming Turning into NC-17s. <laughs> There oh, go. here you go. 3P, 3PLs. Amazon Associates, ACES, ACSs. So, so there you go. Like, we're yeah. going to have to make the gimbal Amazon walk about the ACSs the at the AMS with the AMZ on the <laughs> AMZL. You know what I mean? Got to get the flights with the 
and Don Cord. A rap and the R saw <laughs> and the you know all the stuff. I just don't. It, 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 AVN. That is not what AVN stands for, sir. Hmm? Birds. No, that's not what it stands for. Amazon vendor negotiations. Adult video news. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Okay. Oh, okay. Mean, like, yeah. I, like I mean, I'm, I'm glad that they got Bogo in there, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that's just common knowledge. Charlie right? Asin, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Charlie Asin. Okay. <laughs> <That's, that's>, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, we were not going to go there. <laughs> a viable variant of the parent Asin. <laughs> Probably should have found out what Asin was first. Yeah, I know, like, because I'm like, no, well, a viable yeah. version. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We got Epstein Island or something? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, Asin yeah. Bezos is, was there. <laughs> Asin is Amazon serial identification number. Good for you. Yeah. Cow? So, like, oh, hold on. What's cow? Consumer order workflow? <laughs> Way cooler is cow. Eyes. Crap! <laughs> <laughs> Can't realize the profit. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's actually the first time I've ever seen that one. <laughs> that's fucking great. That is hilarious. All right. Y'all got a DEA, huh? <laughs> they didn't have e commerce ads. Uh, the fact that they agency. had to make an acronym they have, for that. They have two DEAs. Yeah. Dynamic e commerce ads and delivery estimated accuracy. That doesn't seem realistic. Great. It's because it's not dynamic. <laughs> no right, one uses so, EODs anymore. Uh, All right, we gotta talk about this. Everybody stuff. uses EOD. Well, Great. not Amazon because there's never ne- there's never an end of day. It's an end yeah, of shift. Technically, that's <laughs> explosive ordnance disposable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> All right. When you see the EOD tech running, you better catch the fuck yeah. up. All right. So what's up with this uh, number one here, sir? Okay. So I was I did some I was thinking back. Like I, I don't know what you were looking for. Okay, no, I got this. It'll make sense in a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so like the, damn, Olive Garden is cheap. So the, the the second restaurant I ever worked in, like the first one that I actually held the position of a cook, um, was this place called Delaney Murphy Steakhouse, and I can use the name because I went and looked. It's no longer around. <laughs> <laughs> there was one in there was one in Hawaii, and there was one in Virginia Beach. So, it was a really nice fucking restaurant. Very far in and in between. So, yeah. <laughs> Very nice restaurant. Like, you know, like that's the one I was telling you about, like custom salt shakers. Like, it had, like, uh, like everything was custom made throughout the entire fucking. Yeah. Like, even the flatware, like, one off shit. Like, the thing that, the little collar that held your napkin. Mm hmm. Was like one off made, like <laughs> gotta keep that shit basically. Yeah, I mean, shit just kept disappearing because you stop sending that up in room service. Just saying, yeah, because um, <laughs> things just don't come back from room service. We all know that. Yeah. Um, so I was 17 years old and I started thinking, like, how bad I was, you know, the things I did, yeah, and the things that you know, and you're it's, I'm, it's a learning process, right? <laughs> I don't know exactly what they were looking for. <laughs> out of me <laughs> when you put a 17 year old in charge of his friends like in this restaurant like at night alone <laughs> why should not but I just wanted to say I apologize to whoever owned that restaurant because <laughs> I don't I mean again I don't know what your thought process was when you said you know that's a great idea um, so yeah I spent like like a year and a half there, like before I was like, you know what, I gotta get out of here and probably join the army. Um, <laughs> Were you drunk? Where did this moment of like deep reflection come from? Like, did you we did this come up with another topic? I mean, like, probably, probably we just talk, like we have conversations about like yeah, our about, like, like we've our definitely lives we've and... definitely talked about your first job in restaurants. I'm just curious. Well, what, my first what, job in restaurants, I was 14, and that was like doing dishes and making salads and. The one time the lady asked me if I was praying. That was weird. <laughs> I am sure we've talked about this. I'm just curious what brought up the need to apologize. Because, like, I started really, I a deep reflection. I don't know. Like, we were talking. I was like, damn, dude. Like, you start thinking, like, I was not very good. Like, <laughs> like there was, like, because I was, like, I was sending out burnt shit. I was sending out undercooked shit. Like, I had about, you know, I don't know, three days worth of training before. And, like, this is not even, like, I was in the pantry for three days before the dude fell out on the floor high on crack. Like, and they had to call the ambulance. 
<laughs> Guess what? You're, you're, you're work in the seeing, hotline tonight. <laughs> you weren't seeing a lot of firsts. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. For it's gonna be later. fine. Like, but he's just hot. That's he's all just, it is. He's just asleep. It's fine. weird how I, many first jobs in restaurants have crackheads. Right? Like the crackhead Willie worked alone. You fucking fall asleep over the saute all the time, dude. I mean, I spent, I spent more time downstairs like smoking cigarettes and like trying to get like the older dishwasher to buy me liquor <laughs> than I did than cooking. I did cooking. Yeah, <laughs> it's like like the the like the the waiter would have to find me. Like, dude, and this is like before cell phones. Like, this is like, dude, I've been looking for you for like twenty minutes. I got to take it up. Like, well, I hope it's not well done. Instead <laughs> <laughs> of like, like now, like, where the fuck yeah, are yeah. you? <laughs> but I did like, but I did learn a lot there. You know, like for like, you know, the, the first job, like, and again, like I'm in high school. Like, I gotta, I gotta go to school in the morning, man. <laughs> like, it's like. I don't know. Like they had a they had a cig- they had a cigarette vending machine. It was like the last one I've ever seen. It was like they forgot it was there, and it was like a cigarette vending machine. It only uh, took cash. <laughs> like, they had one at uh, Keen's. Baja, a long yeah, time. I Baja Keen's even had one back like 2016. Oh, I think, yeah. I think uh, Inland Reef still has one. Is Inland Reef still there? Yeah. yeah. I don't know how. Cool. It was shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, they got like a Marvel fucking. Uh, bar top now. That yeah. I don't see fitting very well. Like granite or marble? One of the two. What color? Well, it makes it? a difference. I mean, it's. Is it white? Yeah. Oh wow! It might be marble. That see, that's just that's not what I would expect. <coughs> there. Uh, they, 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 have they no. did a renovation? They, they did a renovation, and then that's when the place got shot up. Is it? Is it brighter? Yeah, because that place is pretty dark and dingy. I mean, it's a pool hall. Like, I I go in there. I don't give a shit. But I, the I mean, bar, like, the it's... bar got renovated. That's it. I mean, well, <laughs> I was about to say, like, <laughs> what do you, what do you renovate? What's over there? The Darts pool? and pool. Yeah, like, what are you gonna, are you gonna fix the carpet? Like, no. Why? Because they're just gonna fuck it up again. <laughs> I need to go back there. And it's like, what are you gonna put in? Like, you're gonna put in like a hard, like a like a concrete floor. Why? So every time someone drops a bottle, it breaks instead of just spilling on the carpet. I do feel like they'll probably be around for a while though, because they have so many pool tables and dartboards. Like, if if you want to do something, it's a good place to go, and they hold a lot of tournaments. So, yeah. like, I feel like they have. Regular customers that consistently go there to shoot pool or, or darts, or darts, or yeah. But I mean, like I mean, last time I went there, not bad. Last time I went there, some dude that just was a regular there, so I knew him from the last time I went it's there. Real darts, by the way, not the yeah. fucking <clears throat> not the soft chips. Shit. Yeah, not. Yeah. Yeah. He just came. Up, hey, haven't seen you all. You want some coke? I'm like, hi, cola. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, no, and no. <laughs> Can I get another beer in my tab? Or I'm leaving. <laughs> like, just... Barry's being weird again. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. He went to the bathroom. <laughs> Pretty oh. something for me on top of so, the toilet. You never back, real, real, real fast. The, we went back to like the pins and the hat, like the little caricatures and oh. shit. Like, like, or do they have names? Does each one have its <clears throat> own name? Well, or this they... is not Amazon. Okay, gotcha. that's its name. Not Amazon. That's not Amazon. That's my leg guy from uh, SpongeBob. But <clears throat> no, um, the character is Pecky. Okay, and I don't it's... know what made them name him Pecky, but not Packy. Pecky. Pecky. Yeah, P E C C Y. P E C C Y. Yeah, Feel that's Peckish. like Pessy. That's an high. acronym for something. I'm I'll, sure. I'm Feel Peckish probably. But this one was from uh, Warriors of America Month. Warriors of Amazon month. Gimba. Warriors of Amazon. That one they just gave out, and then that was Women's uh, Appreciation Month. Is it you are Women's Appreciation Month? Yeah. So they just giving out pins like once a month? Something like that. And that one obviously is the... Meaning? What's her face? Uh, yeah. The R- Rosie, R- Rosie yeah. the Riveter. I keep, on, I keep on forgetting. I know it's Rosie, but it was like Rosie something. Was like, the oh. Riveter, bro? At the same time, <laughs> it kind of looks like a minion. Yeah. Yeah, a little, uh, is that heard, Bob? I've heard, I've heard <laughs> new associates like they're like, "Where do we get those minion pins?" I'm like, Mi- "What? It's Pecky, sir." <laughs> I was Please. like, "They kind of tell you that shit in orientation." Like, is it Bob is it Kevin? Pecky? Like, you know, yeah. yeah, like they go through Pecky. Yeah, like dude, if you, if you walk into the warehouse, there's which seems really easy, by the way. Actually, n- no, because you can't even get through the front door without a badge. But drive <laughs> past. Never mind. 
you know, <laughs> I disagree with that statement. I was, we had this conversation the other day, and I was like, that building seems really unsecure. I think I need some free shit. Like, <laughs> talking about the one on London Bridge? I mean, yeah, you want to blow it up like that. That was yeah. wide open every damn oh, time. Two, we, four, slash, seven. We drove past <laughs> the other night, and there was literally, like, one truck in the parking lot. And we were like, maybe there's people, like, maybe there's, like, five employees inside. Like, even in a warehouse that big, you could take a lot of shit mm-hmm. before any, and besides, like, you could probably just walk in and be like, yeah, I'm here for delivery. Like, I'm just, I, I'm picking I up this like order. Like That place? I don't fucking know. I feel like the carts... Or, like, load it right next to the door. You, yeah, they you can just walk so in and fucking, like, load up, one. Drop like, your tailgate, like, walk over, grab the cart, wheel it out to the parking lot, and just start loading shit. Just act like you're supposed to be there. Just to yeah. throw it out there, we did not, nor do we recommend <laughs> doing this. <laughs> but the question came Real up, fast, like, what is the security uh, like? Because that just you, doesn't uh, seem great. I mean, I mean, I have a reflective vest in my truck. I, I'm telling right? you. Like, <laughs> like, if all I gotta do is throw on a reflective vest. Maybe can I go on Amazon and probably uh, purchase like a like a blue Amazon like jacket? Yeah, Man, like, Dooley's bound well, to leave some shit here eventually. We'll be uh, official as fuck. All I right, like, I have high this best in my fucking car. Right? I have I one in my truck. That's what I'm saying right now. I'm talking. You probably got a GTA. lanyard somewhere. Let's go. You probably got a lanyard somewhere. You just got to forget it here one time. <laughs> I gotta get a new lanyard. What happened? I lost it. I don't know where it is. Like you, you clocked in in Virginia Beach. <laughs> Ever since going PA, I have given up that fucking lanyard too. Huh? My my badge now sits in my pocket. Oh yeah. Why? So you still have a badge though. My no, point is, if I po- lose my if I lose my Zuki again, I will never get one back. <laughs> What's a Zuki? It's my login to get into Amazon's everything. Never. How many so, times have you lost it? That's what I was about Is to say. it impossible to print a Excellent. new one? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you give away the answer. Should we like, guess? I feel like we got to throw some guess? guesses oh. on it. How many times have you lost your Zuki? One second, one, one second, no. one second. Never mind. Two more times. So you have last, two more the, chances. The last time was it was a faulty Zuki. So it's not my fault. Well, then. So go ahead and take your guesses. Did you lose the faulty one? Four. I no. Four. Four? I four. See, I feel like four is the limit, so he's probably I'm two. going th- Three, he's lost it three times because I feel like five's the limit. No, I lost it once. You only lost it once, and then a faulty. So you can only like okay. So fa- you said that faulty doesn't count because it was not my fault. So if you so if you lose so three another, times, so three times and you're out, three strikes, and then what happens? You get you lose your job. Where were you when you lost the first one? Does the alligator get? Where were you when you lost the first one? The first one. It was when I had it on my lanyard, and I was helping rebuild a wall, and they got caught on something. Oh, so does it work? All right, I can't find it there. Okay, so (laughs) so what you're saying is it it got shipped with the truck. Yeah, it's somewhere in Atlanta or Colorado. Somebody found it. Yeah. And they were like, ooh, he's going to pull that away. (laughs) Just email Team Packet to Team Packet Nation. It says a dead Zuki now. Because when you get a new one... That the cancel. Oh, I've been drinking this beer and we didn't even talk about it. Yeah, I know. I've been, uh, I've been, I've been saving the last I, I little was, sip here. That's pretty nice. I never Y'all are just what? fascinated with the Amazon shit. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, what is this beer? Lembus. L E M B A S. Like the Lembus bread. It has no taste. It's very It's very smooth, is how you. How you it's biscuity. It. Biscuity? Biscuity. Ooh. Yeah, now, is, now I'm getting that is now. That, like, is that biscoff or is that like buttery biscuit? Biscotti. Did you say Limbus bread? Yeah, like Lord of the Rings, bro. Fuck yeah. Like literally, Elvis they, had the, they had the like leaf wrap from the bread on the photo of the beer. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, uh, it, L-E-M-B-A-S. L-E-M. You yeah. might want to look up Limbus beer. Oh, I see what you I, yeah. I just got the picture, but... I've made that bread before. Why are you looking up the Lord of the Rings? I because don't. so that's is that, it's Elvish bread. Yeah. Why does this look like someone actually made this shit not in Lord of the Rings? Because, because that is a recipe. That's sir. A recipe. Yeah. So they actually like I have a recipe for like all for sci-fi and everything. I want it. Literally all the like all the fantasy. Can we look shit up the like beer? That. No. You know that's preferable. Limbus beer garage. I'm just looking at all the black <laughs> shit on my hands for my ear muffs. Beer. Dooley. Beer. Ear mugs. <laughs> He'll get there eventually. Don't worry. It's, not, it's still typed bread. How did it... Yeah, just leave the bread part off. Slimbus beer. Dooley. Garage brewery. Hmm. 
Yeah. All right. So it's got zero rating. Four point four ABV. Another twenty-two. Do you think twenty-two uh, is just like the number? That's what they're throwing out these days. What's this, my precious? A new pilsner has been forged in stainless steel, adding some taters to the mash and running the fermentation dry. Lorian hops pervade over a delicate biscuit and sweet hay maltiness, adding bright notes of green tea, lemon lime zest, fresh melon, and wildflowers. As close to Waybreast brew will make you want to trek the New Zealand, you... Okay. Side with your whole fellowship. Because that's where they film Lord of the Rings. I really want to know who Zealand. writes these, because there seems to be a lot of typos. <laughs> it's, it's, it's AI. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it. Speak to text. Yeah. Like, so, okay, so really fast. Full-bodied beer that tastes like beer? Limbus, mm-hmm. limbus bread. is elvish bread. From Lord of the Rings. So let's, let, what makes it Limbus? All right, all right, do you want to know about, I was going to say, Lord of the Rings or the recipe? Because yeah. this is not going to get your answer. This is just going to tell you how to make it's it. It's doing like a lot of loading, isn't it? Yeah. So the bread doesn't exist in real life is what you're saying? It's only a Lord of the Rings? Well, I mean, apparently you, somebody you, made it. You, you can actually, yeah. you can I make it. I think maybe Lord it. of the Rings picked, the, did they pick the name by an, of an actual, I've never seen the movie. What? what? Yeah, <laughs> Floor to sell. I'm going to go with the movie came up with it because oh. it is said by the elder that the art of preparing the thing from the Vala Yavana as far back to the elves' great journey to Amun. Okay, scroll back up so I can read the ingredients real fast. So it's flour, water, sugar, yeast, salt, fine salt, and flaky sea salt. Uh, you're going to need Italian seasoning and plus more for the topping. Okay, so I'm getting like a... Real fast, okay. So olive oil... Close to focaccia. T- yeah, so I was gonna, I'm getting a focaccia vibe off this. Uh, two pints of heavy cream. That's for the more. butter. Oh, oh, butter recipe. Optional. Yeah. So, yeah. So is focaccia. There you it, go. It's Do possible. not roll or knead the bread. That's the thing. It's based off another bread, but there is no bread called lembus bread. So he could have based it off an actual bread, but he came up with the tibus bread. And it's pizza dough. Uh. <laughs> it's supposed to be journey bread. It's apparently, it translates to. Do you, yeah. Can you wrap it? Or it I don't. will have to get much farther into the Tolkien. <laughs> uh, it's a pack. Pretty much, maybe. <laughs> Might keep it fresh, too. You never know. It was banana leaf, so you know. Eh. Banana leaf? Or you sure? Look like it. Well, that picture looked like they printed it off and they cut it out. <laughs> now, speaking of printers, we really need to get a new printer. There are for, so many ads. Uh, all of our stuff, huh? Yeah, we'll figure something out. But right now, I just need to buy ink so we can print menus. All right, click on the last, the last day. That's right. What the fuck? There it is. Yeah. Why you gotta ruin that shit? Why you gotta ruin it? Because that's like the 24th flavor, bro. No, I prefer 23. <laughs> Dr. Pepper Creamy Coconut and Creamy Coconut Zero. Why does it look... It's like a, it's dented. like summer in a can. Looks like it's dented. Well, it probably is because... I would have thrown it down in the anger too. <laughs> so okay, so so this is the review of the creamy coconut Dr Pepper. You didn't think they were gonna just let you slide, did they? Okay, so let's go down to the review. Of course, this is all a review, and it's just a lot of fucking reading. Here we go. What do they taste like? I'm gonna go with it tastes like Dr Pepper. Even if you ever did like Dr Pepper like out of like the the Coke. Uh, freestyle machine and added coconut. Guess what? Ugh. It's in a can. You can go back down. That was just talking bullshit. Starting with Dr. Pepper creamy coconut, I proceeded with caution, wondering how a strong flavor like coconut would be able to play well with Dr. Pepper. Thankfully, my first sip came as a bit of a surprise at how mellow the coconut flavoring was. Taking a look at the can while I sipped further, my eyes focused on the adjective creamy. This Drink's profile in many ways is similar to that of Dr. Pepper's cream soda, but perhaps an elevated version of it with its exotic flavor twist. As for creamy coconut zero, the coconut taste is much stronger in an artificial way. It's less creamy and more biting, like most other diet sodas. Still, this zero take on the sugar standard uh, bearer accomplishes what it sets out to do, even if it's not nearly as good as the regular. I have a thing here. So when it comes to, like, aspartame, Mm-hmm. And that's like what they put in diets, right? Yep. Oh, it says right there. Yeah. Uh, I think that is disgusting. It causes cancer. 
Everything causes cancer. Yeah. Well, yeah, but according to that, the state uh, of California, you shouldn't eat the cardboard box that your pizza came in. Well, yeah, it might cause cancer. Yeah, well, you shouldn't eat the cardboard yeah. box to be one. But well, hey, let's you know. let's calm down about my cheesy box, bro. There is cheese stuck to that. It's one thing to lick the box, okay? It's another thing to eat the box. <laughs> Hello, Bye. Bye. Hey. Come on, free country. <laughs> Take that one more ways than one. Like, hey. <laughs> so, I mean, I just like as far as like diet things go, like I don't think any of them. Taste as well as the original. All right, coming from good. someone that grew up on the diet sodas. Well, See, yeah, we're gonna have a busy week this that's week. Just, uh-huh. just, just, just to see. Where, <laughs> um, my mom never bought regular Coke, regular this, regular that. It was always the diets. So, worry. is the pink envelope aspartame? The sweet and low. Yeah. I think so. Continue, I'm sorry. So. <clears throat> what the fuck is equal? Look, you uh, want me to get them all? I, I'm it's, looking it's them up It's equal right aspartame now. and uh, sugar. <laughs> equal. Got it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. But <laughs> Can't believe sense. that's not sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's almost all not sugar. <laughs> so the, the blue one is aspartame, sweet and low is saccharin, and Splenda, or the yellow one, is sucralose. Words. All different types of sugar. Words. Plants. Well, what's 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 the, what's the sativa? Not sativa. Ativa. What, what, <laughs> sativa. sativa? Well, Stevia. Uh, there you go. Thing. Sativa <laughs> makes you feel good. I don't. <laughs> I don't think that one's in a color packet. They probably have their. It's own. white with like the green leaves on it. What about yeah, the, but it says stevia. It's just stevia. It, well, there's one that says Truvia, which I'm assuming is a brand, but there's stevia in the raw, which is just like the brown packet sugar in the raw. Damn, okay. I was about to That's the one I think that. you're thinking of. And then there is, I mean, there's obviously brands, but they all don't look the same. So, so I mean, I can't. It, so stevia is like stevia. It comes from the plant Steve. <laughs> <laughs> from the plant Steve. It's all Steve. All right, so back to your, back to your diet soda story. Um, so, yeah. Through childhood to like teenage I always pretty much just drink diet soda like it didn't taste weird to me it didn't taste whatever but it was always just diet soda and then finally started drinking like actual Coca-Cola Dr. Yeah, Pepper when, when you went full throttle full throttle with them over <laughs> I, it, it's a huge taste difference yeah it's like a difference between like a camel non-filter and a camel light yeah <laughs> That's a fucking difference. Yeah, that was a huge By the difference. way, yeah. no filter versus, yeah. Stevia oh, yeah. does come from the stevia plants, 300 times sweeter than sugar, and it looks like mint. 300 times sweeter than sugar. Yes, it looks like mint, the so plant. Let's, yeah, let's eat that. Right? It came from uh, Paraguay and Brazil. That makes sense. But it definitely, like, yeah, drinking a Diet Coke forever, and then finally drinking some Coca Cola's here and there. It definitely tastes the difference. It. it, it yeah, it's the same exact way if you drink regular soda all your life and then you try to drink diet. diet. And then everyone comes, mm, diet, diet, it's, it's diet. disgusting. So what do you, like, what do you prefer? I kind of prefer diet. I mean, if you think Coke to Diet Coke, definitely Diet Coke. Because that shit fit, feels like there's just a film on your fucking teeth. Diet Coke or regular Coke? Regular Coke. I feel like all soda's do that. I feel like the the film that you feel on your teeth from drinking Coke is like where you're losing like a layer. Yeah. <laughs> like the acid's yeah. like eating a layer yeah. off. <laughs> like, but like Dr. Yeah, Pepper, you don't yeah. really get that You feeling. only got like so many thousand Cokes before you just don't have teeth. Can I just yeah. throw out the fact <laughs> that he's talking about a Coke product and said taste the difference, which was Pepsi's slogan? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, Pepsi's the same fucking way. Diet Pepsi's better than regular Pepsi. Oh, fuck off. We get the fuck out. Uh, coming from a person that has been drinking diet soda since he was fucking unpopular opinion, <laughs> like, like it tastes like there's just a film of sugar. Sorry that on your mom teeth. tortured you like that. Uh, this explains why you wipe standing. I up. just can't <laughs> drink sodas. That's a throwback. That's a throwback right there. <laughs> Dooley just learned all the wrong shit growing up. Drink diet soda. Wipe standing up. What happens? <laughs> Then maybe they're related. That's all okay, I'm saying. So, you know, so like with Mountain Dew, <laughs> right? Mountain Dew, regular. I can do both. Well, they, they don't taste different. 
Are you out of your mind? You are right. Like, shit, it's hell is regular Mountain Dew nowadays. Gross. Diet. I, okay, I guess fucking everything. He's, it, it, if you grow up on diet and that's what you're used to, yes, it's regular soda is going to be a lot harsher and a lot sweeter. And yeah, it's not going to well, taste the same. Like I said, we don't, that, drink, we don't drink a lot of sodas. No. In, in our house. They, most of the time, if I'm drinking a soda, it's because there's something in it. Um, <laughs> but when I was drinking soda, it's not soft beverage. It's when a hard I was beverage. drinking my ginger ales, they were always zero. Okay. Ginger ale zero. So is and I okay. So there's because there's a difference. What is the difference between Diet Coke and Coke Zero? Is it just what sweetener they're putting in it? Yeah, probably. That's so it. like one's got aspartame in it and one's got Stevie Steve in it. I think one's got sugar, one's got aspartame, and or I mean like no, because Coke Zero has like nothing in it. The Zero version contains aspartame. Okay. The regular version contains high fructose syrup, corn syrup, and then it doesn't say anything well, what about else diet. So is the diet gonna be like sweet and low? Maybe. I don't. I don't. Okay. I'm gonna totally get my Damn. I, <laughs> I, mean, I didn't think saying. you were ever getting back. <laughs> like, you roll, roll, like, roll, yeah, roll your I was about to say, you need like a fucking orange shit. Like, it's a little edge of the good. Do you even use your feet? Or are you just like, sorry, on. I'm a Diet <laughs> Coke drinker. So, Diet Coke and Coke Zero actually both have aspartame, but Coke Zero even cuts that, like, the amount of aspartame in half. So, Diet Coke has 188 aspartame milligrams. So do, uh, you, do you prefer Diet Coke or Zero? It t- Have you no, tried they, Zero? They the same. Okay. Coke Zero actually uses two ingredients. Aspartame and acesafolamine. Potassium? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's, it's uh, literally on the screen. Yeah, it's literally on the screen. That's a test study with So, me. again, <laughs> I guess they use a blend, but... Yeah. I, I think Zero tastes better than Diet. I think Zero is closer to the flavor of regular Coke, like we, Coke Zero, and we should do a t- like a test. Like what you want to do, like a blind taste? Test? Yeah, like, like I've been a, a diet drinker for fucking ever. So you want to do the Pepsi taste challenge? Just on taste the difference, right? Well, I mean, everyone <laughs> knows the difference between Coke and Pepsi, but to do, I just want to see Dooley do Diet Zero and regular Coke, see if he can tell the difference because he's sitting here telling us they all taste the same. Well, well, you said, you said regular is harder. I'd be more interested to see if Melissa could pick the difference between sugar-free ginger ale and regular. Because I feel like ginger ale, I don't feel like the sugar content is as much in the ginger ale, so it doesn't change the yeah. flavor so much. Like, as far as... Because I don't like the diet ginger ale, so, like, for a while, we had both in the house. Yeah. What brand does it, like, I also feel like that might make a difference. Canada, bro. Okay. Hey, I, <laughs> who else makes ginger ale? Seagrams. Who? Schweppes. <laughs> the same person. Schweppes. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, come on. Yeah, like, I feel like if you're, like, you're, you're going to do a gin and ginger, man, you got to Canada you Dry. Gotta, no, you got a Seagram Seagrams. <laughs> Several <laughs> seven. Okay, I know who the fuck Seagrams is. Just what? a joke. <laughs> Seagram Seagrams. What do you, that's what I want to roll into the bar and order. Let me get a Seagram Seagrams, Merck. All right, that's one, like fuck you. <laughs> Two, that'd be a good joke. <laughs> that's like, there is that joke out there. Where the Irish, you know, the Irishman goes to fucking Toronto, Canada and everything, and they're like, oh, I brought you here. He's like, well, you know, I was at a pub in Ireland and everything. I saw the coaster said, drink Canada dry. I said, fuck it, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, are, so we got we to gotta get it. Like, <laughs> We gotta get a Coke, a Diet, or just a Diet and a Zero, I guess, because you're definitely gonna be able to tell the real Coke. Dude, if it comes on a box like that, I definitely ain't drinking that shit. <laughs> Why does it look like that? That's what I'm saying. Like, it looks like a, a shaving cream kit. Like, yeah, you like, think that's like tastes a full like pack? vacation? That, that, that's a body wash kit. What are you talking a, about? That I mean, looks whatever. Like, that looks like Old Spice decided to pair it with Dr. Pepper and be like, here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what are you like? This is Dooley's new Crocs. Tastes like vacation. Shut the fuck but, up because I'd buy it. I bet you would. It will be available in 12 packs of 12 ounce cans. It comes with detachable coconuts. The fuck you mean detachable? I got that shit. (laughs) Uh, Dude, is it really like in a coconut like husk? That's what I'm wondering. If they they actually sell it, I would totally keep the box too. That, I mean, it looks like fake hay, like whatever. Spoke, like, it literally when, looks like it's just like a cut sheet. Of whatever well, then I'm gonna put some fake Crocs in there and sell it to someone. Anyway, uh, Doctor <laughs> Cream, Doctor Pepper, 
Creamy coconuts, full flavor, came truly alive when sipped out of a glass. The only thing missing was a slice of pineapple pierced by a cocktail umbrella long, lounging on its rim. Gross. It probably needed rum. Yeah. Let's be honest. How do we know that he didn't already add it? Or she. See, I feel like this might need, like, some Malibu. <laughs> well, like like Curacao. Here we go. <laughs> I felt as if I was wearing a pair of shades, thinking of blue pastures and walking along at a beach in some exotic place within reach. Like, oh, well, I thought that was going to talk about the drink. but uh, you know. It's Curacao the place, not Curacao the drink. Yeah, and then the room temperature is more palatable. At room temperature, it's more palatable? That's weird. But what he said, poured over ice. Oddly enough, at room temperature, yeah, the zero version. Oh. It's far more palatable than the regular unleaded version. <laughs> unleaded. I, I feel like that's leaded. Yeah, like, that's leaded. Yeah. Like, uh, un- the zero just, would be the unleaded one. This shit's on leaded? God damn, it tastes good. <laughs> well, I guess that depends on what you consider lead. If sugar is lead, then it's unleaded. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I mean, Go I, down a I was going to say, do we, do we cover it real quick? Yeah, I mean, I thought you were all talking about that. I think we're scrolling second, quick, but... like we're gonna, you know, <laughs> we can wrap this topic up. But that's a that's a segue to say the least. Oh, I agree. The fourteen best sugar free sodas Three ranked. Okay. Oh, let's, obviously, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, let's just. What do you What do you think number one is? The best sugar free sodas. Root beer. Sprite. Yeah, root beer. I'd say root beer. Ooh, Sugar free, I'd like, probably say it would be Sprite or Sunkiss. Sunkiss, sugar Sunkiss free. Sunkiss is, is pretty pretty close. So Sunkiss, you realize like that's the diet zero Sunkiss, not like, yeah, not, not like, like the regular Sunkiss, not like orange drink. Yeah. Give it a scroll. Let's see where we're at. Isn't that what we're reading? <laughs> no, because like root sugar beer. free cereal. Like, you got it right. right? <laughs> number fourteen. Oh, that's cream soda. Actually. Oh wait, really? But that's the one I was talking about. And number about. fourteen, I got it backwards. A and W cream soda, number thirteen. Oh. Seagram something. Seagram sh- Zero sugar. sugar ginger ale. I was going to say ginger ale next, too. Uh, Sevia Zero Calorie Cream Soda. Never heard Zivia, of that. Z- is that Steve? That's, like, that's like sparkling Zivia. fucking water type shit. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Wait, so, number that, 10. so that was 14? Number, like it wasn't even it the was best the bottom, one? Though. No, it was oh. the bottom. Huh, y'all are wrong. Number 10, A and W Zero Sugar. Oh, okay. Root beer, not the cream soda. Uh, number 9, Sunkest. Orange, Orange zero sugar. It's not that bad. Number eight, Sprite zero uh-huh. sugar, with not regular Sprite. Seven up, zero sugar. Oh, that's, so, at seven. that's so odd. I like how seven up was at seven. Canada yeah. dry zero sugar ginger ale. That's, six. Be that's, that's, zero. that's, that's your oh, go to. Nope. Coca Cola zero sugar. Actually, at five. my favorite's the one with lemon, though. Lemonade. S- Dari, which is kind of like Sprite zero sugar at four. It's nope. zero it mist. It, it used to be zero mist. mist. Yeah. Oh, heard that. Squirt zero sugar grapefruit soda, specifically the grapefruit on number Squirt. three. Squirt. Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Major Melon on number two, and I hope to God Mountain Dew's not number one. Thank uh, God. Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. Yeah, I mean, that's not I, terrible. I, going back to, like, what? Actually, I don't think I've tried up, Zero Sugar uh, Dr. Pepper. Uh, the number that. three? What was it? Oh, the squirt like, yeah. is an actual grapefruit soda. Uh-huh. Yeah. It is delicious. Just like that, what's the other cool. one? Which one? Uh, the other grapefruit soda. Fresca? Yeah. Fresca? Fresca. Fresca. I think Squirt is a much better I version. prefer Squirt over Fresca, yes. Zero sugar. But not zero sugar. Only Fresca. I haven't had to try. You would. You know? Starting to, I'm <laughs> hey, look, like, this is all about Dooley right here. I know. What, what you, you need to know before you drink your next Diet Coke, Dooley? What do we need to know? No. Let's scroll and like, hit the topics. Uh, Diet Coke was a result of years of waiting, work, and research. Oh. That's I could be like Bill Clinton. That is a weird. Like they caught it right yeah, at the right, right, right yeah. moment. Oh. Like, he got the, he got the duck lips and everything right now. <laughs> <laughs> Diet Coke with alternate fake sugar is available with Splenda. Oh, there you go. What? Like so they make it with different sugar? They used to. Oh, early eighties. Oh, okay. Good job. Yeah. What's the difference between Diet Coke oh, and hey. Coke Zero uh-huh. Sugar? Uh, when Diet Coke will establish the Coke Coke Company flagship sugar free product, it was introduced in numerous diet drinks over the ensuing decades. Uh, most notably, Coke Zero in 2005, later renamed Coke Zero Sugar uh, to better emphasize its major dietary selling point while uh, more closely adhering to the classic Coke Cola. See, I told you, uh, with uh, more what. Calorically, calorically negligible, negligible artificial sweetener in place artificial of sugar. Artificial sweetener. 
just tasted much more like a real Coke than Diet Coke ever did because You're its predecessor right. came up with via its own original proprietary formula. All right. Let's see, I'm, I'm really starting to question Dilly's palate over here. Um, the Diet Coke formula, well, sorry, the Diet Coke formula will stay the same for the time being. So, Alex, I know you're just coming back, but they literally just said that Coke Zero tastes more like regular Coke than because, Diet Coke because of the recipe. <laughs> So yeah. Uh oh. I mean, I don't want to get into a huge thing of it now, but like, if anyone's ever looked up the differences between the sugars, they talk about like the taste profile, yeah. and like the fake ones tend to last longer or shorter. Like it's the amount of time it hits your tongue and how long the flavor lasts after. Like okay. the fake sugars tend to hang around longer. Remember, I was a child. You was a I had child. no money. Right, the hand gesture and everything. You are, you are Bill Clinton. You are, you, know, you are Bill Clinton. You're doing the hand gestures and everything over here. I'm, I'm just talking about we got into all the sugars. If yeah. anyone, like, woman, I had a Diet Coke, and she gave me Coke Zero, and I just lost my shit, okay? <laughs> you know the differences between Monica Lewinsky and Jennifer Flowers? Uh, one of them drank Diet Coke, the other one drank Pepsi. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> <laughs> and scroll. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Why well, Diet Coke doesn't produce that sinking feeling? What the fuck is a sinking feeling? I don't Probably know. Does like Coke heavy. Make like, it? Makes, like, it makes you oh, heavy. Oh, are you talking about when you pour a Coca Cola and then it fizzes for 17 hours and then you only have like four <laughs> drops and then you pour some more and then you're like, oh, that's the whole can. Oh, I only got go. like a fucking little bit. A can of oh, Diet Coke and a can, can won't sink. Yeah. A can of Diet Coke and a can of Coke both contain twelve ounces of fluid, but the Diet Coke actually weighs less than the Coke, meaning it will float to the surface if placed in water, while its full calorie counterpart will sink. I mean, Who does all, this research? First off, well, if you opened up ever opened up a cooler of half melted ice and Coca Cola's, you would know that Cokes at the bottom. The regular Cokes are at the bottom, and they are much oh, colder. Cool. They are way <laughs> hey, ice cold. <laughs> There you go, Diet Coke and damage <laughs> teeth. You're talking about te- film on your teeth as you're fucking drinking regular Coke. Okay, so I stand, I stand correct. Well, you were correct. It's just because you were drinking the Diet Coke, it was just shaving off layers, like and you're like all this time. And then you're I like, still got my fucking teeth. Though. I know, but now because you started drinking regular Coke and it started applying layers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Same time. Drink. Coke will, or it could I'm be, not... the, or it could be the monsters. <laughs> I drink so much water. Scroll down. So you, you also drink so much whiskey. Burnt. <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> See? That's, that's, that's cool. That's Still didn't work. Because I was trying to read what it said about uh, sugar uh, eating uh, enamel, <laughs> you know. It would stand a reason that to avoid tooth rot brought on by sugary soda, drinking sugar-free soft diet drinks like Diet Coke would make for a far more dental health-friendly alternative. But according to recent research, that's a potentially dangerous fallacy in 2015, Blah, 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 blah. Studied test subjects molars after the application of 15 different drinks, among them milk, a sports drink, traditionally sugar-sweetened sodas, and three separate diet sodas. The findings concluded that sugary syrup pop and sugar-free pop were responsible for roughly the same amount of damage to tooth enamel. You saw this? They called it pop, right? Yeah, where is this? Yeah. Where, where is this done? Yeah, yeah. Just Melbourne, pop, Australia. Pop. Diet okay. Coke could cause weight gain. Wow. But it's like, dead. <laughs> well, it's also you order like you know the entire menu, and then you get a diet coke. So yeah, that way, it makes, makes you feel better about like. <laughs> So triple the amount of people in the study gained weight on diet coke, or I'm sorry, not gained weight, but Fat gained waist coke. circumference uh, than that of people who didn't drink diet coke. Whose fucking feet are these? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's AI for sure. <laughs> it's definitely AI. <laughs> Was it AI or they just put a two year old up there? I mean, on the world's smallest scale. I don't know. Go to shutterstock.com and find out. Go mm-hmm. for it. Uh, it had a label on the photo Diet Coke and fries aren't a match made in metabolic heaven. Well, that's. <laughs> that is shocking, right? I am, wait for it, flabbergasted. <laughs> so. The combination of consuming real carbohydrates and artificial ones in the form of carb-free sugar substitutes like aspartame found in Diet Coke serves to confuse the brain and how it tells the body to process and metabolize foods. Uh, I think all the ads on Facebook now are going to start becoming... 
Diet Cokes. <laughs> right. Everybody's phone. Are you oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, hey, this Why explains the Cuba positive. Libre. <laughs> Diet Coke can make alcohol stronger. So you weren't asking for it burnt. They were just giving it to you because it was Diet Coke. <laughs> All right, this podcast is going to be called Diet Coke and Dooley Hit Everyone. <laughs> I didn't do anything to you, Daily Meal. Now, I am curious. <laughs> this may not necessarily be completely correct. Uh, it does say that... On the one positive, it's not completely correct, huh? <laughs> when aspartame is used in mixed drinks, it leads to a higher concentration of alcohol in the breath. Meaning that you would Ooh, okay. fail a DUI faster. Yeah. Does not necessarily say that it changes your blood alcohol level. Well, Is this I mean, because I the sweetener yeah. lingers longer? I was trying to figure out but how they were saying, th- like, figuring that. Like, it slows the rate yeah, at mean, which it enters the bloodstream. The calories and regular coke act like food in the stomach, which according to common wisdom, slows the rate at which alcohol enters the bloodstream. Yeah, that, I get, I can, I can see that because there's no sugar and thus no calories and sodas like diet coke. Little known, oh, I'm sorry, hold on. That was that was the calories in regular coke slows it. Yeah. So it actually gets into your blood faster and with harder diet. with diet. Yeah. The so it the is blood, brain, and body that much faster and harder. Mm. I might have to test this thing out. <laughs> the maximum amount of, amount of diet coke you should, should drink each day. Dooley, what's your guess? What's your max? Four two liters. <laughs> you think Part that's his one, max? No. Fuck you. <laughs> and two, as a child in the teenage years when I was drinking it, that was the only soda I ever drank for like two or three a day. 20 that's... ounce bottles or? No, like the, the can. 12 ounce. Well, I was okay. training for beer. After tracking 450,000 <laughs> Europeans for 16 years and carefully noting their soda consumption preferences the subjects who routinely drank diet soft drinks had a 26 percent increase in risk of early death compared to those who rarely rarely or never consumed diet soda so drink God, regular soda closer. <laughs> drinking sugar packed soft drinks isn't really healthy either the study found that those who drank regular sodas on a regular risk an eight percent increased risk of premature death don't drink soda so yeah right just drink okay water. so you, you had a dr pepper I'll risk eight. You had a sip. I'll I'm, risk eight percent for sodas. I love Dr. Pepper. I risk ten percent for cigarettes for years. You know. So we we like uh, I bought. So I bought a Coke because I have rum. Yeah. And she bought a Dr. Pepper because she's like, okay, I'm gonna try a Dr. Pepper. I haven't had one in a while. And I was like, you know, you realize you have them on the truck, you know? right? But I wasn't on the truck at that moment. And it's a weird time. Like when you're just mm-hmm. is that just impulse buy? Like, yeah. You gotta need a Dr. Pepper. Oh, well, you Dr. went Pepper. and got a Coke. I wanted a Dr. for Pepper. a specific reason. Um, My specific reason was Libre? trying it again. Yeah, so she took a sip and it was like... <laughs> <laughs> like okay, yeah, I flavor. did not it, make all that. It noise. hits a little different <laughs> when there's nothing in it. <laughs> See, I feel like when you put rum and Coke, it kind of makes it flat. Yeah. See, yeah. Like, like liquor, like you put, you know, like Jack and Coke, Beam and Coke, like... Brown liquors and Coke. I don't. I don't know Scotch anybody. Beer. I don't know anybody doing like vodka and Coke. That just seems weird. But I've done it before. Uh, Desperate times. You know, <laughs> I, I, I got to cut this with something. <laughs> I, figured, I figured he was doing another summer sipper, but you know. No, like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. So like, so like, I feel like when you add liquor to like a Coke, like it does make it seem flat. The problem yeah. with the sipper was there was no mixer. Was That's just, true. I think it's the alcohol that just kills. Remember that tequila. He <laughs> was just trying to cut cows, man. Trying <laughs> to cut, like summer bod. Right? Like, <laughs> yeah, his summer bod was sleeping on the fucking damn bathroom floor. Because <laughs> the, the tile was cold. Right? <laughs> I was on that vegan diet. It was yeah. hot outside. I, nice oh, summer. I remember. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember. Nope. I know you don't. My, my bathroom rug remembers. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and hit that thing, Dooley. It's already up. <laughs> Summer sippers. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to Team Fat Kid Choose the Fat. You can find us on Facebook at Team Fat Kid. On Instagram at Team Fat Kid Nation. On Twitter X at Team Fat Kid 1. On YouTube at Team Fat Kid. And of course, you can find us online for all of your knife and apparel needs at www.teamfatkidnation.com. You can find the truth. Food truck on Facebook at yeah. Team Fagin Food Truck on Instagram. Yeah. Team Fagin Food Truck on the X 
at Fat Thumb Sport Truck. You can call us for all your pre-order catering needs at 757-427-1586. Hey, you can also catch a food truck at Latitude's Apartments uh, t- on Tuesday, that is April 23rd. On, at Big Ugly Brewing on April 24th. Holly Point Appointments on April 25th. Deep Creek Baptist on uh, April 26th. And Pine Ridge, that is a plant sale on April yeah. 27th. You also check out our full schedule pinned at to the top of our Facebook page. Continue. And that was Holly Point Appointments. Remember, <laughs> stay hungry. <laughs> be creative. And don't forget to shop your nine. Praise the Lord. Peace, love, and be at Greece. We out this bitch. Yeah, I got married. Dooley, grab me a diet. <laughs> No, like the Laguna Beach diet. Grab him a diet. Oh, is that the one where they're like dead people? Oh, that's Santa Clara. Santa Clara diet? Clarita. Clarita. Is it Clarita? Mm hmm. That was a cute show. Mm hmm. Brains. It's the fucking Catalina wine mix of bitches.